So here it is, the M210 that failed us on the Bronco. Now, let's talk about how impressed I am. We're over 50,000 miles. We're still under our factory warranty. The Bronco has never failed us. We've drove this thing pretty hard. <laughs> When this broke, I wish I was doing something cool, but we were we were on a road, so we weren't really doing anything cool. But I'm impressed that I could take a vehicle stock out of the box. Our Bronco looks modified, but it's really not. We've taken the fender flares off of it, put a body lift on it. We're still running 35 inch tires. It is dirty right now. We got to find a wash yesterday. Wow. Anyway. We've made small improvements to it. We haven't really built the thing big and bad like most everybody does, and it's held up just fine. We've reinforced the things that needed reinforced, the steering, the tie rods, stuff like that. And after 50,000 miles, the front diff blows out of it. Now, the other thing that got replaced with the warranty as well was the driver's side CV shaft. It's one of those that when whatever broke in here, obviously the cv took a hit because when we pulled it out the joint just didn't move like it needed to so huge shout out to everyone here at larry h miller in draper utah these guys were more than happy to help and the other thing that i'm really impressed with was when i called them and said hey i've got a problem and i can't drive this bronco anymore i need to pull this out to get it to you and to do some other things for our youtube channel they were more than happy to be like yeah go ahead the literal quote was, well, if you were out on the trail and you blew up the front end, you would have pulled it out on the trail and brought it to us and it'd still be under warranty, right? And I said, yeah, probably. So without question, they allowed me to pull out the front drive unit. We were able to go up to Spokane, see my man Ed, pick up El Chapo, and then we drove straight down here from Spokane to drop off the whole front drive unit and the Bronco in pieces. And they were okay with that which is huge because me as a consumer of the Ford Bronco product, they believed in me, you know. I labeled all that, we put the bolts in the baggies and rode on them, they, they couldn't screw it up. Now, we've got a brand new M210 in this thing. We gotta, you always gotta test drive it. Trust, but verify. They did great. So far, pulling it around the parking lot, I'm happy. But let's go put it in four wheel drive, make sure everything feels right, and then we're gonna start trekking back up to Idaho. And then we got, I'm telling you, we gotta find a car wash. Look at, the bugs are awful. You know, I mean, boy, we're gonna spend a small fortune at the car wash right now. I'll tell you what, if you're in the market for a Raptor, call these guys up. Look at all these Raptors. You got a black one, you got a slightly blue one, you got a white one, you got another slightly blue one, a gray one, and a blue, blue one. That's just, I mean, they have them all. Plus, looking around this lot, they've got other trim levels of Broncos. These guys have been awesome to work with. Super thankful for the recommendation from our friend Jake, known as the Utah Bronco Killer, for sending us to Larry H. Miller. Now, let's go test drive this thing and figure out if the things work like they should. I think we're finding a car wash first. We've got four wheels on the drive in the low range. We got front locker. Yeah. We got a rear locker. Now, do we have the four wheels of the high? Mud and ruts should do that. Oh, yeah, I felt her shift. Oh, yeah, she's shifting. <laughs> You want to test if you're in four wheel just listen to it and you can watch the thing just kind of hunker down especially on the oh yeah especially on this asphalt you can hear it the rear's locked i think we've got four wheel drive back i think we can crawl the curb curb crawling here we go breaking the law oh did it with no problem And the 
backwards. You can feel it. We have officially got four wheel drive back on the Bronco. After 53,000 miles, you know, I, if the Bronco would have been out of warranty, that would have been a couple thousand dollar fix. But at that point, I would have just upgraded to a Spicer unit. But for a stock replacement, I mean, Ford held up their end of the bargain. I held up mine. Let's go enjoy the off roads. But we're so close to being out of warranty now that I think the Bronco finally needs to get 37s, some aftermarket wheels, a little more of a lift, better coilovers. I am wanting so bad to get a armadillo hardtop hardtop um the bronco is gonna go through phase two that was a long list that was, that was, a that was just a, that was a brief list we need bumpers we could use probably some intermediate shafts that are a little bit better um or uh cv shafts that are a little bit better and an intermediate shaft which we have these parts i just haven't put them on Especially because, well, the Bronco was broken. Lights before lockers. Yeah, we got to do lighting. Yeah. Our lighting game's okay, but we got we got some stuff coming from XK Glow. There's some things we've been keeping on the hush that's going to go on with the Bronco, but we will inform you of that later on. Yeah, my shirt. Yeah, Bronco Man 6 sent me this. Let's check in with Bronco Man 6 and see what he's up to, because for now, we're just cruising on back home. Coyote. 66 u14 but that's what i'm doing today i'm just doing a little test fitting here seeing how stuff mocks up do you want to see what it looks like i'll show you this is the passenger side right slides right in i know people at home there's no gasket relax we're not starting this anytime soon truthfully all we're in is the mock-up process so headers will get mocked up 6r80 is going to get mocked up i have a whole new front dress from Tom's Off-Road as well, that's gonna get mocked up. Then we'll take it all back apart. But that's what we're up to. Hey, I, do you have your Baja shirt on? That shirt I got you for your birthday, you know? Baja Bronco, I know you love them. I have questions. Are all four wheels turning now? Do we have four wheel drive? Or do you still have the only 62 wheel drive Bronco in America? I'm wearing your shirt. I didn't blow a bead. It's been a good day. We found an opportunity. When you're out and about on your adventures, look up Bronco parts, okay? <laughs> You'll find them. So we're down here. We drove about another 20 minutes out of the way. We are picking up an air cleaner for the early Bronco and another set of valve covers. The valve covers or whatever, they were just included with the purchase of the air cleaner. We got a deal on this. I want to run a factory air cleaner on the early Bronco. So the guy's like, hey, we're at a car show. Come pick it up. We're at a car show. Look at this. Now, rumor has it, there's an early Bronco here that is untouched, unrestored, like per just perfect. So we're gonna go in here and try to find it. So let's check it out. Come on, join the adventure. So the guy we are looking for said he's got an F100, I believe, but he said something about it being a Shelby. Now, I'm not familiar with all the Shelby stuff, but I thought that was only Mustangs, but I could be wrong. Anyway, I've already spotted one early Bronco over here, and I'm just gonna do my darndest to keep walking around and see all the cars before we just dart to the Bronco. Yeah, but we're gonna get there. Camreo. It's Camreo. And another Camreo. So here's the good news. We skipped over the one Bronco to find another Bronco. And then, look, look right there. Look, look, there's another Bronco. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. This is that Bronco that they say is untouched. Uh, not restored, I think. Yeah, definitely not restored. You can tell because it looks like the Roadster that Ed has had. It's been cut. It's got a roll bar in it. I mean... What, what do I say? Utilitarian. That's what I say. These Broncos are just, use them, you know? You got to get them off, of the, you got to get off the couch to get them out of the garage and enjoy them. Is this yours? Yeah. Nice. We've got a 68 and a 69 that I'm building. So. Oh, awesome. I think that was it. That's a nice Bronco. He got it out of the shop yesterday in eight years. What a better place to come and enjoy 
your Bronco. I mean, let's look at another one. Come on, I'm excited. Now this Bronco is one to shake a stick at. Look at how nice this thing is. Yeah. It's got the trim that I want to do, which is down the body line. And I believe there's a piece that goes across tailgate, but I could be wrong. I think they call that the Ranger package or maybe the Bronco Sport package. Now look at these quarters. This is exactly what we're gonna put in ours. It's cut, so you can get a bigger tire, but it's not cut and had a flare put on it. Yeah, trim goes across the tailgate. Absolutely beautiful. Might have a nice motor in this Bronco, but it ain't no El Chapo, you know. We got El Chapo going in ours. This thing is nice. Okay, I like this. They've got the firewall painted black and then body color up here. Is that stock? I don't know, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so that there is a Shelby truck. It's not blue. I think he told me blue. Could be wrong. Might have told me oh. what red. I don't know. He said something about racing stripes too. So this might be our guy, maybe. So good news, that is the truck. That truck is blue. <laughs> And I also thought his name was Dan, but it was actually Don. Anyway, air cleaner looks perfect. I am super excited about that. The valve covers, cool, we got them. But now we're here, we gotta wander around. Rumor has it, the Bronco we found, that 68, not the all original one. Shocking, cause that thing looked hey, there's a cyber like it truck. been through. A Cybro truck, wow, it's not those are one. ugly as sin. Let's look at it, anyway. The Bronco that's all original, untouched, apparently didn't make it. They had some stuff come up. You can only go to so many things, I get it. So, unfortunately we're not gonna see that, but let's check out some more Broncos that are here. They're beautiful, great builds. This Cybertruck thing, I mean, wow. Just, what would you do with this? Would you just, come on camera, there it goes. What would you do with it? I mean, I, those rims are massive. I don't know. They just weigh a metric ton. That's my problem with it. Here's honestly my problem. Let's talk about this. How do you feel about electric vehicles? Is it the way of the future? I think it is the way of the future because it's just what it is. I have to agree. Unfortunately, I think it I think will that's be. that's the way the world is going. Yeah, the world's going to go to all electric vehicles. That's, that's a given. But here's my problem with it. Let's think about this. We're gonna look up the exact weight of this truck. Okay. But I believe it's somewhere close to like 12 to like 15,000 pounds. Okay? okay, cool, fine, get over it. But what happens when you're in an accident on the freeway and the guardrail is only rated to hold a vehicle back that's maybe five or 6,000 pounds, now what? You're jumping. You've got literally a brick <laughs> flying through the air and now it's a projectile. That's my issue with electric vehicles. It looks like our refrigerator. It looks silly, but that's, everybody, Broncos might look silly to some people, but whatever, I love them. Somebody might love the Cybertruck, that's fine. But the fact of the matter is, is I don't think our infrastructure is actually safe to drive electric vehicles. Comment below, tell me how wrong or right I am. But that's the way I feel, so. You won't be seeing no Cybro trucks for us. Yeah. Plus, how do you, you do you can you can't off road Cybro trucks? Cyber Blanco Adventures. No, doesn't white... even go. No. Doesn't even go good. Yep. Mhm. Mm this guy was on a budget. The budget was tight. Use the old license plate to fix the bed floor. I like it. Utilitarian. All right, here it is. This is the one we seen when we first started walking in. I just had to hold my anticipation to get over here. My anticipation, my excitement. Let's take a look at this thing. I mean, beautiful. For certain, beautiful. You got dual shocks in there. You've also got dual shocks up here. You got a wild horse five and a half inch lift, but what are those? Would you off-road with those rims? This isn't an off-road Bronco. No, it's a Bronco. It's got to go off-road. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's got a Dana 44 in there. It's got a, not an El Chapo. On the scale of El Chapo, it's no. It's a 77. 
Do you know how you know? Because I read the paper hanging up under the hood. But also, look at the gas tank door. I believe that was a 77 only thing. If it had the original marker lights, they'd be standing up vertical right there. And I believe they did the same thing in the front, but the marker lights have been shaved. But beautiful, beautiful Bronco. I can definitely appreciate it. It's a five and a half inch lift. 74, honey. No, it's not. Oh, it's number 77. Yes. Okay, so 74. I don't know if the gas tank door is original then. I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm looking at. I look at, oh yeah, right there, look, 74, can't miss it. All right, I'll do it for you Jeep people that like watching our page. There they are. Jeep people? I think Jeep are people watch there? our page. I'm calling out Mr. Cornage, you know. <laughs> he likes ducks. <laughs> I mean, Jeeps are cool. Don't get me wrong. The solid axle, I mean, that's where it's at, but. 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 Look, another Bronco. It's got a chrome grill in it. It's a half cab and it's parked next to a 6G Heritage Bronco. I love this car show. Utah, you guys know what you're doing. I mean, Bronco specific car shows, sign me up. But when you're going just to a generic car show, you want to see a little bit of everything. They've got these little, like, I think that's a little porch or something. But then you've got full size old Fords and then little jams hiding in here. Look at this thing. I love it. I think it's actually a U14. It says it's a 66, but you can tell it's a 66 right here. See the eyebrow in the grill? See that body line? Yeah. That means it's a 66. <laughs> Got the spare tire. I don't know, it might be a U14. Also, you know it's a 66 by looking at the steering wheel horn button. It says product of Ford Motor Company. It's a uh, automatic. I don't know. Oh no, no, it's not automatic. There's three pedals in there. So, is this a real U14? I don't know, but it's parked next to a two-door Heritage. So maybe it's got the right like trim stuff down there. It's got the right-ish hubcaps I think hubcaps could be different could be wrong also the mirrors the mirrors are throwing me for a loop-de-loop -loop. that's what's on my Bronco 2 is that that Bronco 2 mirrors well they're Bronco mirrors could be could be a Ranger I mean here's the other dead giveaway look at this bumper square cut that's 66 only too and in the rear square cut Stripe setup. She likes the fancy dancy. This thing is beautiful. Look at that bench seat. Karen, you'd be jealous. Sorry, six gen owners. We didn't look at the heritage. We we're looking at the Hurley Bronco. Fact of the matter is they say that's a real U14. It had square cut bumpers on it. It had the forward going shock mount in the rear. It had three on the tree. It had Dana 30. It had the bud body identifications on it. The chrome grill. I'm kind of curious. I've seen that like in Mitchell Creel's Bronco. The Pitbull, he's got a chrome grill. Why? Was that a factory Ford thing? Or is that like an aftermarket like, this is cool and we chromed our grill? I'm more just asking the question. I, I mean, would you chrome the grill if you could chrome the grill? Me personally? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's just like I, I'm flexing on people. I don't know. <laughs> the, even the glove box door was chrome and the little ashtray thing. Oh, I didn't look at the dash to it's see if. Custom. Custom. Hashtag custom. Anyway, let's keep meandering around here, checking stuff out. I mean, from Ferrari to Lamborghini. Oh, man, look at that. How did I miss that? Let me flex on you and show up to my car show in a freaking helicopter. Get to the chopper! How many times have people said that today? So apparently, this helicopter will take you on a ride to the Skinwalker Ranch. Have you heard about that? Apparently, it's a ranch that you lose your skin walking around with or something. No, I'm joking. 
it's uh look at the turbine on this thing that is huge i don't know anything about helicopters other than they fly but uh no apparently skinwalker ranch monica give us an update what's skinwalker ranch paranormal activities Ooh, freaky deaky ghosties and aliens and all the goods mostly ghosties i don't know really is what it comes down to is it's a place where anytime like electrical things get close to it like shuts off from what i understand about it because of paranormal reasons freaky deaky but here's the thing you're getting in that freaking helicopter and you're gonna fly over this ranch where oh. shit shuts off guess what you know yeah, don't don't down. yeah you'll be putting it down and they'll be picking you up you know <laughs> no thanks there's a supra over here never seen one let's go look at it toyota supra these cars go or something like that i don't know how to do it exactly you know see i like the v8 muscle cars that are like whoop whoop you know i mean this has its place don't get me wrong different strokes for different folks i'll take that one look at the guy behind me that is a freaking mullet that is awesome business in front party in the back you see his mullet that was sweet check this out this is a cool surprise you guys ever look up fab rats paul cox is the owner of it i believe they're here they just they got their stuff out i i haven't ever met them so the line's about a mile long so i'm still not going to meet them but it's cool to see their stuff let's check it out this this little toyota truck thing what's it called fj maybe anyway i've um, been on 24 hour hell and back if you haven't seen that check it out that's the thing they put to work what brand of lights are those What an unexpected surprise today. Here we were just picking up the Blanco Bronco from being repaired, that front drive unit. And then we find early Bronco parts to come and buy. Then we get to go to a car show, see a freaking helicopter, the Fab Rats guys. I mean, what a better day. This has been awesome. Thanks for joining us on our adventure. Now, it's time for you to get off the couch and go create your own. Let's go pick up the air cleaner Throw it in the back of the Bronco and get the heck home. Back to, back to the